Hello, hello, my beautiful ladies. Welcome. I'm so excited to be here with you guys today to share another powerful word from the word of God and to continue learning how to become the virtuous woman that God created us to be. I'm excited because today we're going to be learning how to feel love, how to be a love woman. So without any further ado, let's get started. Thank you so much for connecting with me, my beautiful ladies. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Diana Bryant, and I am a Christian life coach, and I'm passionate to teach you how to transform your life with the Word of God, just the way God did it with me as well. So welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here with me. I see you guys connecting. If you're watching through YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the channel you give it a like and you turn on notifications. If you're watching through Facebook, make sure you share this video, you give it a like. And I'm so happy once again for today's topic, how to be a love woman. Last week we learned how to be a free woman and all the videos are always recorded on my YouTube channel. So if for some reason you missed the class, you weren't able to be there or any of the classes that I have done, um, they are all safe on my YouTube channel. So you can go and find them there. So before we get started, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, Lord, for the opportunity you give us to be here today, learning more about you, about your love, Father. Um, we ask you to please help us today understand the way you love us. Help us find your love everywhere we go, Father. And, and we ask you to please give us those practical steps that will help us feel that we are loved every single day. And we ask that you continue helping us become that virtuous woman that you have called us to be. In the name of Jesus, we pray and everybody says amen and amen. Thank you for everybody connecting right now. I see you guys there. And as I said before, guys, today's topic is a beautiful topic. And it's a, it's a crucial a puzzle piece that is going to help us become that virtuous woman because it is important to know that you are loved in order to continue and achieve everything that God is calling you to do. Amen. So we're going to uh, look up on the Bible, 1 John 4, and we're going to read from 7 to 9. Once again, it's 1 John 4, 7 to 9. So let's look it up and let's read it together. Amen. It says, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever doesn't love doesn't know God because God is love. This is how God show us his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. Amen. So what is this word telling us here? First of all, that God is love. So everything that comes out of God is love. And that means that he loves you. He loves you and he loves you in a way that nobody else can love you because he was the one who created you. He's, you are his masterpiece and he loves his creation. Amen. And that's why when we read here that everyone who is able to love is because they have known God, because God is love. Amen. So have you ever felt rejected, abandoned, ignored, or unloved? Is that If that is the case, I have good news for you today. You are loved. God loves you. And the way he loves and all these kind of things that I'm going to be taking um, today and I'm going to mention about who God and how he loves us, I took it from different places from the word of God. So God's love is unconditional. God's love stays with you day and night. So it's always with you. It goes with you wherever you go. It's pure. It accepts you as you are. It takes care of you. It forgives you. It comforts you. It protects you. It waits for you every moment of this of the day so you can spend time with him. It loves its love is something that you can never experience anywhere else or with anyone else. Amen. Is a very unique, unconditional love. God loves us, as I mentioned before, unconditionally, and there is nothing you can do to lose or, or win his love. He already loves you, period, because he is love. Amen. So no matter how 
good deeds you do, he's not going to love you more or less. He loves you just the way you are. Amen. So you're always loved. God has created us to have a family and to love us. And the way God loves us is the way that only a good father that has created you can love you. So that's the way that God loves you. He created you for a purpose and there will no, never be somebody like you. In everywhere you go, anything you do, you will find out that you're unique, unique. And that's the way God created you to be unique for an, a, a unique purpose. Amen. And he cannot love you any different than anybody else. He loves you just the, the same because you are his masterpiece. So no matter how unequipped you feel or how confused you feel with different things or or how many times you have spent with God or he will still love you the same no matter what or how how much you feel that you love yourself God will always teach you how to love the right way amen now he created you with all his love and taking into account every detail in you and know everything about you like he knows how many hairs you have in your head. That's how much God knows you. He knows all your secrets, everything you do, and what you're thinking about. He knows the intentions of your heart. He knows what you're planning to do tomorrow. He knows what you're planning to do in three years, and still He loves you. Whether you do right or wrong in life, He still loves you. And I'm telling you this, guys, because as Christians, sometimes we lack to understand how much God loves us. And if we understand how deep God's love is, we will be able to love ourselves and love other people as well, regardless of who they are and, and what they do. So that's why we need to make sure we understand and accept God's love in our life. Amen. Now, God can never stop loving you because God is love. Always remember that. He can never stop loving you because He is love. Now, God loves you in such a way that he gives his beloved, and beloved son to die for your sins so you can have an intimate relationship with him, so you can fellowship with him, so sin doesn't come in our way to mingle with God. That's how much he loves you. He loves you so much that he calls you the apple of his eye. He loves you so much that he fights for your battles and gives you freedom every single time. He always answers your call when you need it. He defends you from your enemies and carries you in his holy hands. And he always guide and protect your steps. Amen. That's, that's how much God loves you. He loves you so much that he forgives all your sins and as long as you come with a repentant heart and you ask for forgiveness, he forgives you and he forgets your sins. He doesn't remember them anymore. That's what the word of God says. That's how much he loves you. He loves you with eternal love, with patience, with kindness, with mercy, and fills you with his grace and favor. It, it's, it's so much that God loves you that it's impossible not to feel it, not to sense he, his love. Amen. That's why today I want to encourage you to actually enjoy God's love every day. And today I'm going to teach you different ways that you can perceive God, God's love. Because sometimes we say, yes, I know I hear God loves me, but how can I? I don't feel it sometimes. I don't sense it. And God is everywhere telling you how he loves you and I'm actually going to read something from from the book and it's going to be on page for those of you who have the book we can find that on page 269 amen to 69 I'm going to read under the part that says no one can love you more and this part that I'm going to read to you guys ministered so much to my life and it really helped me understand how much God loves me and where to find his love. Amen. He says, he gives us the rain, the sun, the night, the stars, and the beautiful nature. Have you ever closely studied a butterfly and its details? What about a flower? Have you seen the feathers of the birds? What about the details of the leaves on the trees? What about the breath, breathtaking sunsets? Have you seen the trees 
in the fall, the streams in the the streams in the woods or the depths of the oceans. God created all this for you and for me, and he gave us dominion over his creation, but his love doesn't end there. Besides his beautiful creation and the detail and care for which he has chosen everything for us, we can also enjoy the various flavors of fruits and vegetables. We can enjoy the crystal clear waters to satisfy our thirst. We can enjoy the beautiful songs of the birds, crickets, and frogs, all with a different symphony. As if this wasn't enough, his love for us is so great that he sacrificed his beloved son so that we could continue enjoying his creation, so we can have an intimate relationship with him, so we can be able to get closer to him. He left, he left us a manual that gives us the that guide us day and night and help us to distinguish between good and bad. A guide who never allows us to be alone and it is our comforter, the Holy Spirit. The Lord also shared his word with us, which is our manual for life. He equipped us with the spiritual gifts and called us winners and conquerors. Each day we can count on his divine presence grace and favor wherever we go and wherever we are. How many of you say amen? You can type it in or just say it out loud. Through all these ways, we can see God's love through nature, nature, through so many different things that God is always most demonstrated how much how much he loves us. And if you guys continue reading in the book on page 270, you're going to find different scriptures um, that is going to fill your heart with how much God loves you in the different ways that he loves you. Amen. So make sure you, you check it out, you read it, you meditate on it. And with all this being said, do you still have doubts that God loves you or that you're loved? I have no doubts that God loves me. I have no doubts that he guides my steps. I have no doubts that even if there is nobody else on this earth who says, Diana, I love you. I know God is loving, loving me every single day when I open my eyes. Now I look for ways that God shows me his love. The word of God says that the earth is full of his glory, which means that he's everywhere and he's showing you and telling you how much he loves you through nature once again, through his word, uh, through a hug of, of a loved one. There is so many different ways that God shows his love to you. But today, my love, I want us to share with you practical steps that will help you find that love, that will help you get closer to God so you can actually experience that love even deeper. Amen. So step number one is to meditate on his word. Now, there is a big difference between studying the word of God, reading the word of God. When you do it, when you study it, when you read it, God is speaking to you. But the moment that you actually meditate on the word of God, you're allowing that seed that God is planting in your heart to get deeper, to get deep roots in your heart, in your mind. And that's what is a start. It, when it starts transforming the way you think, the way you speak. And that's why it's so important to meditate on the Word of God. So, and the way that you meditate on the Word of God is simply trying to say what you just read in your own words, making sure you understood it, making sure you're applying it, making sure you're thinking of it. You you imagine what God is telling you and you actually apply it in your life. But not just that, but you repeat it, maybe even memorize it. So it's always deep in your heart and the Holy Spirit can bring it up to you whenever you need to hear it the most. Amen. Now the word of God is full of his promises for our life. It's full of um, the ways that different ways that he loves us. He tells us this in different parts of the Bible. That's why I said it's important that we meditate on his word. He reminds us of his love and what he says about us in every verse you read. When you feel that the enemy is attacking you with his lies, run to the word of God and remember how much God loves you. So if you're not feeling love, remember that God loves you. Renew your mind with his word. The more you read the word of God, the more loved, accepted, and blessed you will feel. 
Amen. Now let's see step number two. Step number two is to spend time alone with God. During that intimate time that you spend with God, He is healing you. He is showing you His love. He's giving you the words that you actually need for the day. Amen. So spend a quality, beautiful time alone with God. God wants to be alone with you. He wants to heal your heart. He wants to minister to your life. He wants to give you strength and wisdom, as I mentioned before. You will only be able to hear clearly what God wants to say to you when you spend time alone with Him. That's the only time you will be able to hear clearly what God wants to tell you and how much He loves you. God is always ready to listen to you, to comfort you, to help you and guide you and give you a hand to help you in anything that you need. He heals your wounds when you are hurt and sets you free when you are in bondage. God promises that if we seek Him, he, we will find Him. So seek God, spend a quality time and quiet time with God, and you will see how your heart will start healing and how will you start feeling loved by God. Amen. He waits for you even when you are lo when you're loaded, when you're stressed. He waits for you. He He wants to be there with you. Amen. And through any circumstances. He wants to be there with you, loving you and helping you. And he will never leave you or forsake you. So always remember that and seek God every day. Amen. Now let's see. I see you guys commenting and uh, amen. Praise God that you guys feel love. And if you guys feel that, that love from God, just type in, I'm a loved woman. Declare it and start saying it because you are loved. Amen. Step number three says, observe nature. And this is my favorite um, step that I, I love doing every day and is to observe nature and be in nature actually. I neglected that for so many years until I understood that that's a way that God shows his love to me. That that's a way that he, he can express how much he loves me. God expressed his love in different ways guys and one of them is through nature. Many times we find ourselves in such a hurry and hustling and bustling in life that we do forget to observe nature. We do forget to, to seek God's love. Amen. Um, and actually to seek it because it's right there for you is to actually accept it, to, to get God's love and accept it in your heart. Now, he smiles at you through a rose. He tells you that he loves you in the song of a bird, or he can make you smile with a beautiful and, perf and the perfection of a butterfly. He shows you his greatness in a sunset or in the fragrance of a rose. There is so many ways that God shows you his love and it's through his creation. He created all that for you because he loves you. Amen. And that's the way he uses uh, and, and he uses nature to, to show us his love. Ask him to reveal his love every day, wherever you go, and be expectant to see that love, and you will find it. You will see God's love in everything that you do, amen, and everywhere that you go. Now, if you seek God, you will find him everywhere, because his love is everywhere, Amen. The word of God says that the earth is filled with his glory, meaning God is everywhere. And wherever you go, you can see him if you're seeking him. Amen. You will be able to find him. You will be able to find his love if you're actually seeking it because it's everywhere. Now, every time you feel rejected, abandoned, or unloved, remember that there is always someone who loves you. Remember that his love is perfect and eternal. So there is no reason for us to feel unloved because God is always there loving us. Amen. Remember that he gave you everything. He gave everything from you, that he knows you more than anyone can know you. And yet he loves you just the way you are. He accepts you just the way you are. Amen. And remember that he gave his beloved son to die for your sins. So you could have that intimate relationship with God, that there is nothing that you can do, good or bad, that could separate you from God's love. Amen. So you will always be loved. When you feel that you are not loved enough, look again at the cross and remember that there is always someone who loves you with eternal love. 
that he will always love you. Every single time you feel that way, just remember, God loves me. He is there. He's always loving me. He's always waiting for me. And, and he's willing to hear me. He's willing to help me. He's willing to love me. So always remember that. So if you can type in right now, just, just type in, I am a love woman. God loves me. Either way, just say it, declare it. God loves me because he does. And if you really believe it in your heart, if you declare it, if you treasure that in your heart, there is nothing and no one that can come and convince you of something different. If you know that you're a love woman, you're going to know how to love your husband, love your kids, love your neighbor, because you know you're being loved. And you're going to, the most important thing, you're going to learn how to love yourself. Amen. So that being all my loves, I hope to see you next Wednesday. Before we close in prayer, I want to remind you of some of the activities that we have here at Diana Bryan Ministries. And every Wednesday, I'm here with you at noon. And if you're not part of um, my private Facebook group, make sure you, you're part of it. It's called Transform Your Life. We do different activities in that group. We encourage each other. So make sure you sign in, you sign in to, to that um, private Facebook group. And in there, my sister Jessica on Saturdays bring a devotional from the Word of God that helps us diving deeper in the Word and, and get to know God in a deeper way. On Tuesdays, Mio, our sister Mio, prays for all our petitions and she's live praying with us. So you can be part of that as well. Don't forget that tomorrow we have the workshop with Angelica and we're going to be diving in into these steps that we learned today on how to be a woman that, that feels loved. Amen. And also remember that every single day from Monday through Friday, I post a podcast where I inspire you with the word of God and I give you seeds every day from the word of God that you can plant in your mind, in your heart, that will help you transform your life. Amen. That being all my love, let's close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, Lord, for this beautiful day. Thank you for the word you have given us today. Thank you for reminding us, Father, that you love love us. Thank you, Father, because the, the earth is full with your glory, is full with your love, Father, and we can see it everywhere we go. You, you chose your love through your word, Father, through nature, through different ways, Lord, and don't let us uh, miss that. Don't let us miss your love, Father. Remind us every single second that you love us, Father, and that the same way we should love ourselves and love others, Father. And thank you for this puzzle piece you have given us today, Father, every single week. We learn how to be that virtuous woman that you have called us to be. We thank you, Lord, and, and we pray in the name of Jesus. And everybody says, amen and amen. I love you guys. I see all that is connected here. God bless you, and I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.